Hello everybody and welcome to another video on Tutorials Point with me Richa. Well today in this particular module we will talk about business body language. Body language is indeed a very interesting subject and if you ever get a chance do read lot of books on body language. It will help you to enhance your knowledge on what exactly is body language all about. Let us see what is there on the agenda for us today. Well, today we will talk about business body language, what exactly is business body language, few body language types, how to read someone's body language, the best of body gestures, benefits of a good body gesture and posture and certain success on body language. Well, I'm very excited to teach you as this happens to be one of my personal favorite subjects to teach on. Well friends, body language or rather business body language is all about a language without spoken words and it is also known as a non-verbal communication. Well communication is of two types, one is verbal which is spoken with words and the second type of communication is non-verbal which is body language. Well we all have heard of this particular phrase in our life that actions speak louder than words, right? Well, what we are really meaning to say is our actions speak more than what our visual or rather our verbal communication. And Albert Merobian said it very interestingly when he mentioned that 55% of our communication is based on body language. What we speak is not that important, but what is our body language while we are speaking is exactly 55% out of 100%. And that is a very interesting data in fact. Well, what is business body language? It is the conscious and subconscious or rather the unconscious movements and postures by which attitudes and feelings are communicated. Friends, at times we do certain things with our actions and we do not realize it that somebody else is making an attempt of what we are feeling and what our attitude could be. This is done at a very subconscious level and if we do not know what we are actually feeling, our body language gives it away. There are different types of body language types and some of them are dominance. Well, if you stand with hands on your waist, that shows that you are a very dominating kind of a personality, somebody who tries to dominate over others and tries to put someone down. Another is submission. Well, if you're somebody who is a bit of a coward person and also who do not like to pick up fights with people, you are somebody who is a submissive person with a body language being a little underconfident. Well, if you're happy, it shows when you're happy because you throw up your hands in the air and you have a nice bright smile on your face, which shows that you're really happy about things. Well, if you are sad in your facial expressions, it shows when you are sad because you put your hands on your face or rather cover your face which means that you're not a very happy person at that point of point. And also when you are worrying, well again it shows when you worry there is a certain type of facial expression, there's a frowning on your face as well as you throw up your hands probably behind your back and you look a little worried in your facial expression. Well friends, how to read body language? As I mentioned before, body language is a very interesting and a scientific study. And if you really want to read other people's body language, you should just observe their body language. Well, communication is not only about spoken communication, it is more on the basis of your observation. How do you read body language of people? Let's take a look. By reading emotional cues, at times, People might give away certain emotional feelings of theirs with the help of their facial expressions and also the eyes are the mirrors to the soul. So by looking at these emotional clues, you can read somebody's body language. Now for example, you ask someone, how are you? And they reply by saying, I'm fine, thank you. But on their face, they're not looking fine. Well, that's an emotional cue for you to understand that Spoken words is not matching with their body language. Look for signs of anger and or threat. Like a lot of times what happens is that you always try to understand other people's body language by looking whether they look a little angry or their body is under threat. You can look at all these through body language. 
Look for expressions of embarrassment. If somebody is embarrassed, it shows on their face because they try to hide themselves or they try to cover up by looking embarrassed. Look for signals of anxiety. Again, if somebody is fearing something or is anxious about something, you can definitely read it in their body language. And notice any manifestations of pride. Somebody you can see who has a lot of ego or who has a lot of you know, status kind of hierarchy and confidence about that or rather I would say overconfidence, you can see it in their people's body language. Well friends, if you are working at a you know at a particular business place or your workplace you always should look at reading other people's body language in that way you can also know a little bit more about your colleagues and network better well the best body gestures and postures and facial expressions are when you are smiling and you are looking very very confident well a smile can really charge up everybody in the room right so when you look confident means you have a nice smile on your face when you have a direct eye contact with people it also shows that you are a confident person at your workplace now there's this thing about eye contact you should maintain an eye contact not more than two to three seconds per individual well what i'm saying is it means that any direct eye contact which is for more than two to three seconds is termed as staring at somebody and that could mean somebody being a little conscious about themselves again another way to really show a good body language and gesture is by looking interested and listening to them carefully well if you bend down a little bit and also turn your ear towards the person you're speaking with it shows that you are actually interested and very very attentive when you're listening to them also sit up straight well you should always mind your postures at workplace do not slouch in your chair or do not look very lethargic and careless and lax when you are at workplace it's always important to sit up erectly with your back straight your spine should be erect and you should look confident and tall whenever you are having a good body posture Certain things which will help you to have a good facial expressions. Always have a smiling face. Do not be looking anxious and worrisome as well as do not frown at workplace. People always like looking at colleagues at workplace who always have a nice smile. And also it's important to relax your body. Well, at your workplace, do not look very uptight about things or nervous in your body language. If you bite your nails or fidget a lot with your fingers, your hair, your clothes, etc., it shows that you are nervous as a person. Hence, it's always important to follow good body postures and gestures. Well, what are the benefits of having a good body language or rather a good positive body language at your workplace or business? It helps you to connect with people better. Somebody who looks confident definitely is able to connect better with people. It also doubles up your business and also it prevents conflict. Well, if you have a positive body language at work, it shows that you're approachable and friendly, not somebody who looks at getting into conflicts with each other. Again, another thing benefit is it helps you to improve your presence. Well, it looks like you are somebody who can not be taken for a ride. You have a good presence and a good body language. It also helps you to open up your world. You can network with better people. And also a good positive body language shows that you are actually happier as well as an individual who is very, very positive. There's a beautiful quotation and one of my personal favorite which says, people may not tell you how they feel about you, but they always show you. So hence, pay attention to people. They might not always tell you in words, but they are always observing you. And hence, it becomes important to pay attention to people. Do not talk so much, but observe much more. Well, body language successes means the art of a good handshake. So have always a good firm handshake when you meet people at workplace. Power of a casual touch. So make sure that you go out not showing a, a very casualness in your body language. 
Understanding spatial distance. Well, at workplace or at your business location, do not stand very close or sit very close to people. Always maintain a good distance when you're talking to people. Do not get into the inner circle of you know, do not let make them come, you know, uncomfortable by being too close and do not get it into their public or rather a very private space for themselves. Importance of posture. So always stand tall, look confident, walk confidently, sit confidently, etc. Well, friends, I would like to conclude by saying that body language is a world in itself and body language is universal all across, whether you are in India, in America, in Japan, China or anywhere else for that matter. Body language is universal everywhere in any part of the globe that you are in. So always mind your body language. Well, thank you for listening to us and we did generally have a good time speaking on this module. Please keep watching, more videos coming your way. Thank you.